Hello. So we are back first day, and we have a job. Okay, I'm I'm really pissed off about this uh, this this job, particularly this one. <laughs> yeah. So I spent like nearly one hour trying to find a problem. This is a Lenovo uh, idea part three and comes here not coming on. Okay, that's how the laptop was booked in. Now the problem with this one. It's not coming on, so pressing the power button on the keyboard, the power button, it's not coming on, it's not doing anything. And if you check the USB meter, yeah, if you check the USB meter, you'll see you have like 4.9 volts, let's say 5, and you have 0 0.2 amps. And uh, <clears throat> the thing is, you don't know why. Why is not 19? Why is 5? 5 is because the charger is not speaking with my board. Okay? So checking the battery. We don't have like 10.9. That means it's nothing shorted here. So what you will do next? You will try to find the problem. Why, the, why the, the charger is not speaking with the laptop. And this is very tricky because the USB-C is the worst port from the history yeah it's, it's 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 i don't understand how they can approve a port like usb c type c like a like a universal standard it's it's unbelievable okay let's go forward and try to figure it out what's the problem so what you will do if you try to fix this one okay you take the board and you look at the board like on the same way like i'm looking on the um, Einstein formulas, yeah? So th on that way you are looking because you have no schematics. They are not sharing the schematics of this, you know, crap. It, you know, it's just a crap. It's nothing else. And you check the board and you look at the board and what you can check? Nothing because you have no schematic. You have no idea how this is working. Anyway, <clears throat> there are a few things which you can uh, you can check. And I did. You can check, let's say, uh, the 3.3 .3 volts, right? I think you can check that. So check on the screen, you can see we do have 3.3. .3. That means our uh, IO chip is alive. We do have some flashing light here on the charging port. <clears throat> but otherwise, it's not much what you can do. Um, the pin which uh, the board is speaking with the charger, it's a digital communication, yeah? So they release this port, the USB-C port, as a universal standard, but actually it's nothing universal here. The manufacturer started uh, doing uh, the chargers and uh, personalizing the charger, and uh, the charger actually doesn't work with from one laptop to the other or different devices, which is in it's insanely stupid. I mean, what was the idea of the USB-C port? I mean, they said, okay, let's uh, bring all together. Let's bring the data and everything. I mean, the idea is the same, like the Apple idea, yeah? So you have the high-speed data lines here. You have the power. And the idea is to use dongles, yeah? That, that's the whole idea. This is not the, the, the USB-C is not about the charging. It's about you using dongles, buying dongles, and using dongles with this port, yeah. So uh, you can use like uh, you can HDMI, uh, SD card reader, uh, audio microphone. Uh, you can use a lot of things from this uh, USB-C port. That was the idea, yeah. Not okay. Let's make it. No, no. You using dongles. That's the idea. Okay. On some point. <coughs> On some point of uh, testing, obviously I, I was testing with the board on, with all the cables plugged in. Uh, let me plug the board back. <coughs> let me plug the board back. Let, let's plug the board only with the screen, yeah? Only with the screen. Plug in the charger. And you realize... Oh wait, I have 15 volts. 15 volts and the current is going up 
yeah? And very possible the laptop it will come on. And you can see Chrome OS on the screen. That means the board is working. So basically you spend time for nothing and actually your board is fine. So most likely one of those cables is gone. Yeah, so it's something happened with these cables. And uh, on some point you realize actually plugging this cable I mean, this is this is a lucky case yeah, where, where the this USB C has an issue. Yeah, this is a lucky case. But as soon as you plug this cable, you realize you go back to the same story. Same, yeah, like five volts and nothing happened. Okay, the long story short, this board has an issue. Yeah, because otherwise, you know. How you can explain you plug this cable is not working and like how i said this is a lucky case where actually <coughs> this usb c has an issue not this one because if this this usb has a problem you can't really know where it is and everything is related on a simple board like this even the io chip is related with uh, speaking with the charger so you have a problem with this board especially with this cable and uh, what you can check, you can uh, check, let's say you have some capacitor like this one. You see, you have like a big capacitor there, like this one, and you take the multimeter and you switch the multimeter on diode mode. And if you check that capacitor, you see, oh wait, that capacitor is shorted. It's like nearly zero ohms, yeah? And uh, then you ask yourself, okay, what can be short here? Because you have a bunch of chips here. You have this one, you have this one, you have this one. You have a bunch of chips. And uh, the only way to figure it out is to try with the power supply. Is to actually use some uh, alcohol or whatever and, you know, make those chips wet. And now you come with the power supply and uh, ground. Well, let's go and check together. <clears throat> so I have the picture. Let's go with plus. <clears throat> I know this power rail is shorted. So plus here and here nothing happened. But let's have a look on this one. Oh, sorry, let me grab the power supply actually. Let me grab the power supply. Now let's have a look on that chip. So that chip. That chip. So check that chip. On, off. On, off. On. Off. So that chip is shorted. It's getting mad hot and it's taking how much it's taking? It's taking like 1.1 amps. You can see on the screen. Now, what is that chip? What that chip is doing? What that chip is doing? It's actually the the heart of the USB C. So you have the data lines, the high speed data lines, and actually you have the V power uh, V bus power circuit. Yeah. So basically, this chip is doing everything. And uh, yeah, that's the problem with, uh, with with the board. We have shorted that chip. Now let's desolder that chip because it's pointless there. I mean, even if we have a better, uh, we have a second USB chip, we cannot use the laptop because this is dead and this chip is shorted. I mean, this really pissed me off, you know, from a simple reason. So many years we have so much like a like a simple charging port with you know like a round charging port with you know like a normal round uh, charging port. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, what happened with this one? What's wrong with this one? Nothing. But yeah, if you can buy dongles, why not? I seen Apple made a change and uh, they go back to like normal, like before, like SD card reader and HDMI port.
So this ship is gone. And incredibly, the laptop, it will work without this ship, hopefully. Should work, yeah, why not? <clears throat> but the idea is, why, like you, like probably the, the people, they approve a poor like this, they, they are like engineers, yeah? How you can approve a poor like this to a low low power data lines next to a power line i mean inside yeah you have a 20 volts power line and uh, then you have the the high speed data lines you, know, you just you don't have to be a genius to think okay what about if a drop of water goes there or what about if i plug the charger like a little bend and it i will touch different pins inside I mean, I mean, I, I swear, if I take like a ten years old kid, probably he will be able to design a better port compared with a USB C port. Okay, so we remove that chip. I mean, I don't understand. On those days, everything it's about money grabbing. I, I mean. The quality is, is it doesn't matter. So we have 15 volts on the on the USB power meter, and the laptop is coming on and working. Okay. So you see, because of this little crap, which it's not a little crap, it's good, but not like power and data together on the same port. If it was like the USB C. Only for data. Okay, that's fine. I can understand that. It's a high speed port. It's a step forward. Well, when you come in with the power lines there, yeah, and you have like, let me plug the, the battery. Even this laptop is taking like 2.7 amps. One point seven. Yeah, about there. 15 volts, 1.7, 1 point, yeah, about there. I mean, this is insane. Actually, this port came as a standard, yeah. yeah. 2.6 amps, you can see? 2.6 amps. Crazy, crazy. It's unbelievable. I mean, how they could approve a port like this as a standard? I mean, it's just thing, yeah? You have 20 volts and you have data lines on that small port. What about a drop of water? What about if I'm touching, like, the wrong pins? If I plug on, I don't know, if I plug the, the, the cable burnt inside. How do you think this chip got burnt? Uh, you think that the charging port is damaged? No, it's not. I can show you. It's not damaged. I can show you this port is perfectly fine. You see, the port has no problem at all. So check the port. You see any problem with this port? There's no problem with the port. The pins are fine. Like how I said it many times, and I said it many, many times. You take a simple thing, you know, like a, like a, like like how was the BIOS, like the basic, like you you, you take some, something simple and you complicate it, you overcomplicate it. It's not a good outcome from this. Insane. I'm really sorry, but I spent so much time on this crap trying to fix it. And actually, I have this board shorted and uh, I have this chip shorted. And then uh, the port is good. The port is not a problem. But this was a lucky case. Just think if it was on this side. Can be anything. You'll never think, you'll never find what it is. Because you have no schematic, because they are not sharing the schematic. They have to be forced to share the schematic. Yeah, pointless, uh, pointless video and uh, really pissed me off.
what was wrong with the usually charger? You know, like the normal charging port. Like you know, what was wrong with this one? Why you have you feel that you have to put it back with the data lines with the high speed data lines together? I don't know, but the world is changing, and it's changing in a way we, I can't understand. It, it's, it's making no sense, and I can't see a logical approach to something like that. Okay? Anyway, the laptop is fixed. It's charging now. It's working. I took out this. I will replace it. Probably not. I have to order probably from China because they are not selling, you know, the manufacturer is not selling components. So probably I will not replace it. I will uh, tell the customer I remove that, and this USB-C port is not working anymore. And he has one more here, and uh, yeah, we can charge a little money. The customer will be happy. We are happy. Everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. Just because of a stupid design, you know, like USB-C port. Uh, okay, this video is so toxic. Probably I will not upload it, but yeah. Okay, so I'll probably see you on the next one. I'm too depressed right now. Bye.